when Rafe and I came back to take over the management of the farm about 40 years ago, our main aim in life was to make it as wildlife friendly as possible. Biodiversity um, is the thing, is the glue that holds the planet together. All the services that we depend on, the air we breathe, the food we eat, the materials we use for building, all these um, are provided for by this stable abundance of different species holding the thing together. But whether you have a, a farm or just a small garden, there is so much that you can do to create wild habitat and use Irish native species where possible because they are what support the pollinators and the birds and everything else, the whole web of life. Here on our farm, um, we have over a thousand different species that we know about and plenty more that we have still to discover. Uh, for example, moths. People are aware of one or two species of moths that maybe uh, they encounter. But we have found on the farm just short of 400 different species. The first thing that anyone can do, or almost anyone, has got a lawn. And uh, let your lawn develop over the summer into a wildlife meadow. Watch the waves of wildflowers coming in. Make a nice pathway through your lawn with one width of the lawn more. We've got over 300 species of wildflowers. So look for diversity in habitat and you will have diversity in species. Uh, the other thing that you can do is create a hedgerow because hedgerows are wonderful highways for wildlife to travel along. So let your hedge develop over time and you'll get all these wild species coming in. Uh, they flower in succession through the summer, which is great for the wildlife pollinators, and then they all uh, fruit together in, in the autumn for the birds. And I would just, uh, if, if you want to choose three things to concentrate on, the elder is a nice mixture between a shrub and a tree. Uh, it's got beautiful flowers in the spring and it's got wonderful berries in the autumn that you can make into wine. Uh, honeysuckle, you, you get double value from honeysuckle because it blooms twice in midsummer and late summer. But we've got a whole array of different species of ferns growing on our old stone walls. So it's important for conservation to maintain the old ways of building. And finally, ivy. Please be friendly to ivy. It's a wonderful support for wildlife. It's shelter, birds' nests, flowers. It flowers after everything else in the autumn, little yellow, yellowish flowers that are great for, for late insects. And all through the winter, the little hard black berries are uh, being eaten by birds. You can see birds eating ivy berries right the way through the, the winter. But if you want to plant a bush uh, for really for butterflies, uh, the, the Bodleia, you know. I think the most important thing uh, that people can do is to stop using chemicals. Uh, if you stop using chemicals, lots of species that you're not aware of, like insects, will survive and do their job because most of the insects that we don't like are kept in check by the insects that we don't know are there. Our species evolved with animals and plants all around us. So when I walk out into a garden, I can feel the blood pressure just, just dropping. Make it easy for yourself. Uh, most people uh, in their gardens are frenetically gardening all the time. We are frenetically wandering around and enjoying it and letting it do its own thing. 